Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Look, if the Avengers didn't work, if the police didn't work, then how can we actually fight him? DFA <laughs> Records founder James Murphy is assembling Earth's mightiest rockers from the mid-2000s to prepare a song to defeat me? I heard you needed someone who's really good at music. Who better to defend the world than the real heroes who helped heal the nation after 9-11? <laughs> You gotta look at the sunny side of life. You know, we'll write some words on the on the cover art, it'll be like war, you know? Save all lives. Save a life, save a million lives. Save your life. A million, million, million lives. It wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's clear that individually. You've all done much better work. I give it a 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of 2.5. Regrettably, yes. it is on a scale of 10. <laughs> 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 Thanos, I love you, but you really let me down. You snapped a certain way, blew all half of life away. Thanos, I love you, but you really let me down. Thanos, you're purple, but your heart's really black. We could fill half the world with all the empathy you lack. And you didn't like our song. You said it was all wrong. But I know that Pitchfork will probably disagree. And now, now we're off all the best of lists. And we're not loved by the critics, at least ones that still exist. And maybe I'm wrong, and maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe... That's wrong. You don't want that bad. Those are, those are the cheap records. You don't want those. This one? Those are wrong. But my, uh, my mom's friend put this on the mix for me. You just picked a random... No, this was is the one that she said... No, that's bad. Why? It's like it's a, the folk art. You don't want that. It's not folk. You want it's something like the Barquets. The what? We're selling a record of the Barquets for a word. $400. For, that's too Althea much for me. Althea and Donna. Gang Who? of Four. What? The Slits. Like, the Slits? The Slits. The that's, Slits. That's what... That's what you want. No. What, what are... What, what do you know about popular music? You're just a record store nerd. <laughs> yeah, but I used to be something more, too. Like what? I was part of one of the biggest bands in the world, LCD Sound System. <laughs> oh. This classic rock band? <laughs> uh, okay. well, first off, not classic rock. Uh, alternative new wave. Uh, 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 look, we almost beat Thanos once. Uh, I assembled a super group of all my favorite top eight indie rockers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard of that. You you wrote that weird song where, uh -huh. and then Thanos like snapped his finger, like he was gonna snap along to it, but then half the music, the uh, people of the universe went away. Yeah, or something? that's how it happened. Right. So, do you still do music? No. 
Ever since Nancy Wong got snapped away, the LCD don't want to play, no. Oh, wait, that's a... Since Nancy Wong got snapped away, the LCD don't want to play, oh, no. They don't... No, we can't do this. We can't do this. I don't want to play music anymore. Yeah, you're pissing me off, and you don't want to see me PO'd. I'm just going to listen to Imagine Dragons no, in my... No, don't! In, in my zip car. My suggestions. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, what's that noise? James! What are you doing here? I was just looking for some music, passed the time away. I think it's been pretty hard for me. Connor over as a bright eyes recently. Things have been hard for all of us mid-2000 indie rockers. Hey, James, whatever happened to Beck? Mm. You and him are so close. Yeah, but Beck had some Scientology emergencies to attend to. Just before Thanos snapped, he flew up into space and he... Ah! Ah! Did Beck do this? Did Beck bring this over? No, no. Beck had to deal with the Space Force or something. He had to save Xenu. <laughs> do you know what happened to your friend, Deventra Banhart? I hear he got me too <laughs> I almost did, but I stopped it. That's good. I twisted it around. Like the way I twist song, songs around. You think... Song, okay. okay. Uh, you, think it's you, think it's you think it's just yeah. going to be a regular song by making it something more powerful by screaming. You do that. I, uh, look, we have a lot that we disagree on, but we're both part of a generation that nobody wants anymore. Kind of like your Iron Man and me, Captain America, except my Sheila's my guitar. Kind of. <laughs> suppose that would make the Hulk uh, Dan Deacon, <laughs> whatever he is. Whatever happened to that guy? Hmm. I miss him. Oh, what are the odds? Wow, it, it's the hamster dance. <laughs> He's doing the hamster dance. <laughs> Hi, Dan. James? No, I, I have, I turned my thing on. Oh. I'm really good with electronics, unlike you folkies. Ow, ow. When you stroke this, it's like stroke in my veins, and veins should not be stroked. So did you quit music too? Well, yeah, well I didn't quit, but I like retired. Like, Music's just kind of boring after like studying it at SUNY Purchase for so long. And <laughs> so instead, do you know the needle drop? That, that weird vlog? You know, you know the, yeah, I took it over, I sued him, and now I run it. But we don't, re re we don't review music, we review my other passion, toys. Yeah. Like, emoji poop. What is emoji poop? It's like slime. It's super cool poopy slime. See, like. Well, you know what? Why don't I, instead of doing this, why don't I just see it goes no, right no, back in? No, no, do it. Keep doing it. No, I, I made a video. I'll show you the video. Okay. Hold on. We don't have all day, Dan. Relax. We have plenty of time. You could have cued this earlier. Dookie Dookie Prime Slime Surprise, YouTube's kookiest and dookiest slime review channel. I'm the Dookie Master, Danny D, and today we have a poopendous new product, Emoji Poop Super Cool Poopy Slime by Kangaroo Toys. Let's fun box it, but get the F out. I love this box, it's for ages five and up, but I think it's fun for kids of all ages. Now, you should be careful. Remember, don't ingest this. It's very dangerous. Now, we're going to unbox it. So let me just get this open. Oh. And here's our booby slime! The Dookie Master Danny D. Remember, comment below, like and subscribe.
cool video, right? I made it myself. That's my iPhone. That's fucking hot. I think it's hot when things come out of things. You want to play with my slime? No. It's fine. You can put it in your mouth. We don't want to put your slime in our... <laughs> I can't believe you guys are here. It's me, the Canadian singer-songwriter Feist. <laughs> Feist, where have you been? How have you been? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing actually really great. I have a show in Vegas. It's incredible. It's at this club called Nightclub 2000s. That's the title of the nightclub. It's called <laughs> Nightclub 2000s. And I do an incredible show where I do my immensely successful two songs. <laughs> and also the songs of Cat Power. <laughs> and also the songs of Metric. <laughs> and also the songs of Tegan and Sarah. And, and Neko Case as well. It's incredible because there are no mirrors there, so I can't tell if I've aged, and I haven't. I have. I've aged a lot in the past five years. I haven't. I'm still 12. <laughs> I have even better news, though. I wear jumpsuits now. Cool. Wow. It's huge for me, so. Mm. Oh, whoa. Doom. What are the odds? What's mad, up, my man? It's a mad villain. <laughs> you know, uh, it's been pretty hard out here. The boy's been depressed. I've been playing Far Cry all day. I've been in bed all day, can't get up. I've been sending imposters out to my shows lately. Yeah, I think those are things you were already doing before the snap. That's all right, my man James. That's all good. That's the life of a villain, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, I don't think it's a I think it's just the same exact life that... Knock, 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 knock! Knock, knock, knock. That's right! It is I, Nardwar, the human serviette from Vancouver, <laughs> British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> no, no, play it, play it! Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and I brought gifts! Yeah, I'm... So many gifts for all! I, I love presents. I'm not so. from Toronto, Nardwar. Oh, wow. This one has blood. Can I trade? Yeah. You are... James... From... New York. Also from LCD. S sound system. But that's not my life anymore. Oh, come on. You guys were great. We were great, but we couldn't, we couldn't hang. All of us, collectively, we couldn't hang with Thanos. He didn't like our song. And you are? Dan. From? Baltimore. And we're going to keep on rocking in the? What the fuck are you world. doing? <laughs> yeah, dude, grow up. I know where Thanos is. What? You know where Thanos is? Maybe we can stop him this time. I could go see him. You guys could perhaps write another song. But this time, it has to be very, very good. Well, we wrote a very good song. We're all critically acclaimed artists. We're, We're very talented. You're looking at best new music of, I'm conservatory you know, trained. That's right. I'm trained in the, the I, I did tech at Maxwell's for That's years. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who owned which other club? Stop doing trivia. <laughs> I've done a lot of research. That's, that's totally fine, but what makes you think that we're going to put our heads together and write something that Thanos is going to like this time? He has dumb tastes. See, I think he liked Maroon 5 or something. Uh. I like Adam Levine. He's cute. <laughs> what if I told you all that I, Nardwar, the human serviette from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, knew of a few other musicians who happened to have mainstream success that could help you all oh. write the infamous song? We don't like mainstream artists. I do. I was on an Apple commercial for iPod. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get them. How about that? Fine, try. Okay. 
Are we gonna wait here forever for this Vancouver idiot? Hey, if he helped us write a song, maybe it's worth it. Ladies and gentlemen. Here, you're back? I'm back, cause it's magic. How did you do? Danger Mouse, this Los Angeles based DJ made waves with his Beatle mashup album, The Grey Album, and then moved into the mainstream with hit song Crazy with CeeLo Green. Now he collaborates with Adele and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and this woman. Give it up for Karen O. Everybody clap. Karen O, this Los Angeles based vocalist left her New York punk days behind in the yay yeah, yay yeah, yes and now makes bank on songs on soundtracks for Frank and Weenie and Rise of Tomb Raider despite not sacrificing her artistic output kind of like Joanna Newsom you're not here oh Jenny Lewis <laughs> this Los Angeles based singer songwriter grew up a child actor and it also was on such such TV shows as Golden Girls and that's the one I knew <laughs> Baywatch performing <laughs> before Ry before even was it Rilo Kylie it was give it up for Jenny Lewis everybody <laughs> here they are they have assembled. Wow. All of us together. Maybe we could write something powerful of magic. Maybe we could commit the ultimate crime of writing a song that people like. I already have a mic that works. I'll take the mic. I'll take the mic right now. I got something to say. All right, man? What happened in the next record we were supposed to do, all right? All right, I got 30 gigs of unreleased Adult Swim clips. All right? <laughs> we was ill in the booth, man. What you doing? I'm sorry, I was talking to Anthony Nikitas on my Google Glass. Just one second, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, Danger, look at me, man. Nikitas, I got you. I got you. Yeah, well, you could do it. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Look, we don't want to work with, with people that are sellouts. Wait, guys, and as a guys girl, I consider you all my guys. <laughs> What if we switched from writing alt country and rock and made mainstream country and rock? I already tried. I was in the Muppet movie. Again, I did iPod commercial. It didn't work. You wouldn't know anything about writing mainstream country and rock. Um, I would know more than you. After I kind of branched out into the mainstream, my social scene got a little broken. Well, in Hollywood, <laughs> We don't have that problem, but you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Where'd you get your bangs cut, Nova Scotia? Who, who cut your bangs? Your rapist boyfriend, Ryan Adams? <laughs> you know what, speaking of Hollywood, there's someone here that totally went Hollywood and turned their back on Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Yeah, you. But everyone likes me. <laughs> no, everyone thinks you're a sellout, okay? Do you even remember the, the era of the, you know, things that were covered in the book Meet Me in the Bathroom? I read it. Yeah. Do you even remember, though? Do you remember going to Earwax Records and seeing your EP on sale for the very first time? Do you, do you remember uh, going to the, the little, um, Pharmacy across from the DIY space that Todd P used to put basement or warehouse shows on. You don't remember any of that stuff. You don't even remember Bedford Avenue. I was just at all of those places. One of them is a Whole Foods, the other is an Equinox, and now there's a Dwayne Reed. Look, have you even been to my wine bar? <laughs> it has a rhino. It has a rhino for a sign. <laughs> That's You're so a sellout. Cute. You're a sellout, and I'm not going to work with you. Don't make me upset. I have a power that I can't control, though. Otherwise, I'm meek. I don't. I don't. I don't care about your powers. I don't care about your new Hollywood lifestyle. I think you're a sellout. <laughs> uh, maybe selling out isn't such a bad thing. What if 
you combine your powers, come up with something that's catchy enough, sort of sell outy, but not too sell outy. Why don't we do it together? I guess I did make an EP for Nike. Yeah. All right, let's try to put our heads together and sell out together, too. But first, let's say goodbye to our punk and DIY and indie roots with a real punk and DIY and indie band. Give it up for our musical guest, Resounding No. Okay, so uh, what if we did something a little like like snappy? What was that millennial like? Whoa! Well, we have, if you add a whoa or something like a hey, hey, that's the most modern thing you can do. Ah, <laughs> so much room with half your population gone. <laughs> So much better now. More cars to go, more lifts, new Taylor Swift song. I promise that you'll never find another like me. It's good, it's really good. Oh, hey. Hi. See, uh, do I know you guys from somewhere? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we made a huge stand against you about uh -huh. a year ago. We wrote right. a really good song. Right, right. So five, five years ago. Stand five on. years ago. And then, and then what happened? And then you, you did that 
Oh! Don't, no, don't, no, don't, 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 don't do it. That thing. Right. Right, right, right. Uh, well, you look great. Well, how you been? I haven't aged. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 James, yeah? It's a, you know my name. I see you, um, still have the same suit? It's a, it's, yeah, it's the same, it's an old suit. It's from the 80s. Look, I, ho I hope there's, nothing's like weird between us. <laughs> well. You're all still alive. Yeah, but you actually heard our song and didn't like it, so that was kind of fucked up. Because we wrote that song together for you, and you were kind of like a huge asshole about it. And you snapped away the whole family of raccoons that plays my backing bells. Now they can't even form a chord. The polyphonic spree? Yes! <laughs> Damn, Daniel. <laughs> You're still saying that? Five years later? Yeah. I like it. Because, uh, because there's less people around to judge. Don't you agree that everything's better now? Uh, I don't know if I'd say everything's better now, but uh, in fact, we, we were thinking about your taste in music, and we wanted to just kind of run something by you. I think the last song you didn't like because it was maybe a little too cerebral, a little too, um... Experimental. Yeah. It sounded like an accordion in a trash can. <laughs> I, I, I don't even... I think well, that's wrong. Some of us like that. Well, maybe this next song will sound like an accordion in a megaphone. Yeah. Wait, is that a good what? thing? Yeah, it's louder. The trash can hampers the music, but the megaphone, it sends the music out, you see? And if you put the accordion in a hamper, it's actually really good. The, 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 the problem is the accordion in the first place. It's a synth accordion. Uh, lay it on me. All right. Be pop, be pop. Bet you're surprised James Murphy's dancing like this. Well, I, I wouldn't I do this in LCD sound system. <laughs> I'm already gassed. <sighs> Half the world is gone, but the world goes on. Say, whoa, oh, oh. Half the world is gone, but the world goes on. Whoa, oh, oh. We cannot be negative. We just need to smell the flowers that are left. Keep flowing, yeah. I'm doing it once again. They knows, yeah. That's my friend. We here, we here. Don't you see the world? I do this for the boys and all the girls. Once again, I do it for the queers. I'm about to go to my house and drink some beer. Like one, two, three, four. There's no fight, so it's alright. What'd you think? Well, honestly, I loved it. <laughs> I thought it really popped. It really worked. It had a great message. 
It had a great beat. You could move to it. I, I, uh, it reminds me of something I'd, I'd like listen to on my Peloton. It's great. <laughs> yeah. It's That's got good. a good, uh, I want to do it at, uh, at spin class, you know, just sort of, whoo, got a good little hustle. Yeah. Helps me sort of, helps you sort of to, to shut out all the bad yeah. and the noise in the world, which is sort of my whole deal, shutting that thing down. <laughs> So, it's great. So everything's great, and you'll you'll snap everyone back. Oh no! Oh no no well, no! Oh, I thought no. we had. I thought there was an agreement that we made. No, regrettably, it's sort of a can't put the toothpaste back in the tube situation. You know, it's like a it's like a torn tendon. You know, it's just that's that's never going to be the same. Um, yeah, no, but I mean, stick with your little. Sort of like a like a new black eyed peas, oh. aren't you? <laughs> well, it's what? great. And I loved interpolating the one, two, three, four sample. It's sort of like, well, black eyed peas, the time parentheses dirty bit. Or uh, or uh, Rihanna's SOS or uh, any number of uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. I, 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 you know, Thank sort you. of like using a sample of a song that didn't come out all that long ago, but like beefing it up with like some fun synth behind it. That was me, I produced it. It's sick, man, it's fucking sick. <laughs> it's great. You know, it, uh, I mean, I can think of no better possible song of the summer as I struck down Bedford Avenue back to my new apartment. Wait, <laughs> you live in Williamsburg now? Oh, hell yeah, man. Right on, um, right on North 6, sort of around the corner from the Apple Store, the Whole Foods across the street. It's great. It's like Midtown, but like less olds, you know? <laughs> Plus, there's a coffee place near me. It does CBD coffee. What? They all do CBD coffee. Yeah. They all do it's CBD coffee. Well, well, it's a little. I don't know if you know what CBD is, but it's a little. I know what CBD is. I think we all, little, think we all yeah. know what little, CBD is. It's kind of one of those. But it's a little. Shh, you know. It's not really no, that. It's, it's, but it's, you and be, it's legal, and they sell it. But you gotta be cool. No, I no, don't. Put it on the sign outside the cafe. They make up funny slogans. You're not a cop, are you? It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. It's legal. It's legal. Uh, I, it's a Levi's store? <laughs> I just, I just, you really like the song, right? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Again, it's, it's great. It's, it's, you know, it's sort of like, great for like the background of things. Like, you know, like a, like a, you know, like a theme song to a Netflix show. You know, you're just sort of like, okay, I get this, I like this. Like, Unbreakable, she's a, and we're just not going <laughs> to listen to that anymore. But, you know? don't you think that the power of a song could, Change someone completely? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does. Oh, my dear boy, no. No. The songs. Well, songs are just, uh, well, they're sort of background noise, aren't they? A song will never change you, a song can't change anything. You know, it's just sort of there for while you do other stuff, like ride your Peloton bike. I have a whole room in my apartment. It's just for the bike, completely empty, looks out a big bay window, and I sit on it, and I go, 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 and I listen to, I listen to B-E-P-E is the time dirty bit, I listen to, you know, Pink, I listen to... Uh, I'm gonna tape. say something really crazy. You are not awesome. Do you know that? What the fuck? <laughs> You're not. And this is coming from the person that wrote that Everything is Awesome song for the Lego movie, right? <laughs> right? Is that? What? I perform it, but that was Tegan and Sarah. But I'll, I'll do, I will do it. My soul cycle instructor plays that song. How dare you? Everything is awesome but you. To the loft. Wait. I'm going by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was awkward. <laughs> I can't believe that we failed twice. What are we gonna do? I just, I wish, I wish we could turn back the clock. Remember your first Pitchfork review? Remember the first time another music uh, salesman said, oh, you should check this out. Remember, Oh, remember playing a, your first outdoor siren fest? It's, I wish, I wish we could turn back the clock. 
I wish we could go back to our best year, collectively, 2005. It was amazing. We could do coke at Plant Bar, and we could fuck strangers at Miss Shapes, mm -hmm. and we could... James, stop. It can't happen. It's impossible to go back in time, so why even pretend like it's worth thinking about? I suppose you're right. You know, I could actually arrange that. You could? Yes! I, Nardwar, the human serviette from British Vancouver, British Columbia, yeah. Canada. Yeah, yeah, Canada. Can. It, it takes time when you say your name every time. <laughs> it can happen because I, Nardwar, am magic. <gasps> well, this is awkward. Word. No, it's, it's good. Oh, right. Really? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Wait, you could take us back. To 2005? Right now, anytime you want. What about Bedford Avenue, right? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, a few hours before a McCarran Park pool party, right? Yeah. Sure. We could go back before the Apple Store when it was a bagel shop. Oh. Before me, too. Yes. <laughs> All of it! <laughs> what do you say? Uh, all right, what do you guys think? Please do it. Please. Totally. Please. Okay. You know the drill. Doot, doot, a loot, doot. Doot, doot. We're here! Oh my god! This is... Hey, sorry man, uh, no. where were you? Sorry, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, be able to see uh, Memoirs of a Geisha opening night with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the bird flu. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna stay home and play the new Xbox 360. He's got a trucker hat and everything. No, it's okay, I was just gonna check out this website that I just found called uh, YouTube. Uh, have you heard of it? You could go to uh, www.youtube.com. I've never heard of that in my entire life. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it seems pretty forthcoming. Hey, are you MC Steinberg? I'm not, but it's funny because I'm kind of similar to him. It's very close. Uh, well, I was just trying to walk around getting petitions for getting that uh, George Bush character uh, out of the presidency. Uh, <laughs> Wait. On a scale of all the presidents, do you think he's the worst ever? Oh, he's ultimately the worst that's ever going to be. <laughs> For real. Anything but that guy. Wow. Uh, this, you really did it. You really took us back here. We're really I here. Wow. Uh, uh, you can leave now. Yeah. Hey, uh, how about we go see if we can see uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith instead? Uh, I have a bootleg of it on uh, a lot of burnt CDs. Oh, burnt CDs. Tangible media. Whoa, and look at this poster. It's Coachella 2005. Wow. And all our snapped away friends are on it. It's a Sufjan Stevens. Gogol Bordello. MIA. Deer Hunter. They all played Coachella this year? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Let's go to Coachella. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. To Coachella. Yes. Yay. Yes. This is so great. This is amazing. Whoa! Whoa! You're here! Hey! <laughs> hey! Good to see you, Oh my god, it's hey. so, so good to see there. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Hey, it's me, the guy from Gorgor Bordello. I was gonna ask. <laughs> Eugene! I was going to ask. You're, that's, it's, okay. That's me, yeah. But that fun uh -huh. song. No, cool, for sure. Yeah, I'm playing Coachella this year. <laughs> uh, hoping to play one of my uh, famous songs. It uh, kind of goes like this. Uh,
So it's sort of like that, yeah. Oh, it's underground because it's ethnic. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just why that people, yeah, no, for sh again, for sure. Wait a minute, where are all the Instagram models? I'm Bradford Cox. Bradford, Bradford Cox and Deer Hunter. Be rad. Where are all the Instagram models I want to know? Oh, I guess they're not here yet. <laughs> wow, you all look the same, too. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Wait a second. You got it. Am I Why? a second? No, love. Yeah. What? Are you dead? Wait a second. I kind of got a feeling you're not from here right now. <sighs> is that correct? Oh, yeah. We got a feeling that tonight is going to be a good night. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. That's a great hook. What's up? I bet you're kind of confused because I'm James Murphy, but I'm old and fat. I'm on Gorgor Bordello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Feist, but I'm the same age as I have always been. I'm Again. I'm Tom York from Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're just going around saying our name. I'm Sufjan Stevens. Yeah, James, you look terrible. What happened? Oh, it's, it's just life catching up with me as normal, as planned. Uh, I wasn't supposed to ever be famous, but... You're not famous. Well, you wouldn't believe it. I actually headlined Madison Square Garden. <laughs> in when? In, in your dreams? No, in the future. You're Where from the future? Yes, we're from the future. I missed that part. Yeah, yeah in Sufjan, <laughs> Hawaii is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Maryland's pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, are you saying that I don't get around to making an album for each of the 50 states? No, you do, and they're pretty good. Sweet <laughs> mystery of love. Beautiful voice. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Wait a sec, wait. Hold on. Well, the wait now, and, and give it a sec. Wait, but then, then, and then George Bush, is he kind of dead in a ditch? Anyone do off with him? No, actually, he's an incredible painter. Yeah, we like him now. He's really cute. Yeah. In comparison, he's mm -hmm. not. We we, 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 we we always say, oh, I, I wish George Bush was the president still. Yeah. Oh, oh, I remember that, and that was not so bad. I, w I wish that. That's what we say. It's very quaint. <laughs> wow, life really is different in the future. Yeah, if I the guess. future's so great, why are you all back here? Uh, well, it's kind of awkward, <laughs> but we fought Thanos, we wrote him a song, he hated it and destroyed the world, we wrote him another song, he liked it, wasn't enough to read the Undestroyed the World, so we went back in time to make the best song ever. <laughs> awkward. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Does it? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I have an idea. <laughs> I don't like any of this. I don't like myself. I don't like music that makes people happy. I don't like anything. I don't like this festival. I never want to play it again. Yeah, you're going to play it like six more times. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Ew, poo poo on that idea, James Murphy. <laughs> I have Sorry. a new idea. Perhaps I shall make an album that nobody likes, but I'll charge whatever people want to pay for it. <laughs> That'll confuse them. That'll get people saying, no, Radiohead, no! Give us good Radiohead. <laughs> but then, I'm gonna make an even worse band called Adams for Peace. <laughs> and nobody's gonna like that. And then I'm gonna dance around like this forever. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep my hair grow. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put on a nice suit. And then I'm gonna start composing music for movies that people don't like. And I'll buy Joe my coin! <laughs> my masterpiece are there, right from my top of my radio head. <laughs> I got it, guys. We're not gonna make a pop song that Thanos enjoys. What? What? 
we're going to take all the inaccessible, high-pitched, low-pitched, uh, uh, time signature uh, subverting, crazy uh -huh. ideas that go into the music that we make, and we're going to make the song loud, <laughs> and we're going to make the song poopy, <laughs> and we're going to make the song something that Thanos is going to hear over these loud PA systems at Coachella, and he's going to say, oh, my ears, and we're going to blow him away. <laughs> Right, so you're saying that instead of making a song he likes, we'll make a song that's so bad and so experimental, he won't like it, and that'll make him close his ears and everything will be cool. I, I just don't think it'll work because a lot of you, you might be surprised to find out, you kind of sell out. What? What? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> For instance, MIA, you actually play the Super Bowl with Madonna. And, and do I do anything with my middle? Finger. Yeah. I would help by. I would help by. Yeah, but it's it's really it's it's. Uh, it's people, not no. It's not that impressive. Well, there you go. And and you, Eugene, you actually date Madonna. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you'll be able to make annoying music. You'll have to go back to your earliest roots when you have klezmer parties in the bottom of, you know, Russian restaurants, and, and you, think about when you just do graffiti art, and I, I don't know, I guess you made, like, angel wings out of paper mache or something. And, like, you're from, like, the 90s. It's weird that you're even here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird that I'm here, and that's everywhere I go. It's weird. <laughs> ah, okay. I'll concede to that. So it's we just... Fine. I guess we could give it a try. In worst case scenario, we're just three-time losers. We have to try. Perhaps if we succeed, everything will be in its right place. <laughs> Thank you, next. Uh, <laughs> just wait for it. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny joke that, later. Yeah, yeah. That, that will be funny. Coco Bardello. Mm -hmm. In the future. In the future, so. yeah. especially if you know who it's about. <laughs> oh yeah, my god. Oh my god. Like, it's really yeah. weird. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Wait, has 9 11 happened? Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Yeah, we saved, we saved everyone from it. Oh, oh we right. We cheered them up, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Good. So, I guess it's time to get to work. <laughs> Avengers, assemble! James Murphy, but older and fatter. <laughs> we have a very special surprise guest. Please put your hands together. He's the Mad Titan from Titan. Give it up for Thanos. Hey, I know you guys. I thought this was the meet and greet for Crazy Frog. <laughs> Welcome, Thanos. I have brought gifts for you from British Vancouver, Columbia. Uh, Nardwar here, the human serviette. Human. You once defeated Ant-Man, and this is a record from Adam Ant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No way, man. Friend or foe? Oh, I haven't heard this in ages. Cajun Twisters. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, me and Ant-Man, we got into it once. That was crazy, man. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. The abbreviation for REM stands for 
rapid eye movement, which many of your victims have also had moments before <laughs> suffering. Right, right, right. <laughs> I've noticed that with my victims, they sort of, you know, sort of like, <laughs> it was a roll back thing. Uh, 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 it always reminded me of that REM sound, like, call me when you wake her up. Come on, I'm a wicker up. You know that one? That's exactly right. Right, right. You also um, killed an elusive. Who did you talk to? I've done a lot of research, <laughs> and you've done you've killed an elusive musician named Drang, who was kind of like the Chameleon Jandek, if you will. <laughs> and he put out yeah. an EP in the Earth Year, 1988, the same year as that REM record called The Borgos and Self Obsessed, that has a track about you called God Slayer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our I magic. Mean, it's, uh, <laughs> you are, dude. Uh, this is so cool. Do I get to keep these? Or? Those are gifts, oh, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. This and we is actually great. have another gift for you, Thanos. <laughs> Do your best. It doesn't even like weaken me or anything. Just, I feel embarrassed for you. No. I mean, what was that supposed to be? It was supposed to piss you off so much that you. Well, fucking mission accomplished, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was supposed to make you so mad that you change course in life. You know what? You're right, James Murphy. I don't think. I'll be eliminating half of humanity any longer. <laughs> we did Instead, it. Instead, we did it. <laughs> I will be eliminating all of humanity. <laughs> I hate indie rock and alternative rock music. <laughs> you keep your CMJ catalog away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> don't, don't, no, I... We're in the end game now. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, wait, no, don't. Oh. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I have uh, something for you to listen do it. to. You're gonna uh, do it. You should, you should check it out. It, here, just put these on. What is it? Put it, put it Tell on. Tell me what it is before a, I listen to it's, it. It's a, it's a cool band I think you'll like. What, uh, what's their name? They're, they're called The Shins. <laughs> Just shins. Take a listen. I don't know. Sounds a little. No, you're thinking of the Strokes. It's totally. I different. know, but hey, shins. Trust me, this band will change your life. <laughs> Low on the body, though. That's like a loser part of the body. Uh, the shin gets all banged up. Just listen to it, please. I don't think so, man. Please. I really, I have my taste 
and oh, you have he, yours. He's too scared. And the conflict really keeps coming from you trying to inflict your taste on me. <laughs> if you see. That. Listen to no! it! No! Oh, God, no! I won't listen to the shins! Oh, no, I'll never I, listen I, I to the shins! What oh. the hell? What? 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 Garbage. Oh, oh, who the hell it is, guys? Yeah. Trying to wrap this up. <laughs> oh no! You stupid ass piece of garbage. Oh, trying to wrap this play. up, buddy. Yeah. His wordplay is unparalleled. Yeah, yeah. His zingers <laughs> knock them down. Son of a bitch. Shit. Shut up! Talk about a sticky situation. You hear that? No, you hear that? I did. Oh, Talk about a sticky situation. Me and my dad. <laughs> we were never that close, you see. I don't know, I guess it's fine. Give it, I don't know, 6.8. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's it, pretty it's good. Pretty, it's pretty That's good. Pretty That's good. pretty good. It's not best new music. It's pretty good. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. For, for what it, sir, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, music sort of just a, uh, Sit down and stare at a wall, too, you know? <laughs> hey, there's a whole soundtrack of stuff like that that I could show you. Soundtrack, you say? You mean stuff that's just like the, the background noise to the life I was already leading? Yeah. Sort of thing I could just sort of really get into or totally tune out, mm -hmm. depending exactly. on what mood I'm in? I might like that. <laughs> It might even change your life? Um, maybe. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, sure, you know, it's, uh, you know, we could see how, go. you know, I, I, I don't think a song can really do that, though. I really don't. I think, I think, I think, yeah, no, I, I, I got it, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, <laughs> I just feel like it's not that bad. So maybe if there's more of it, maybe a whole movie along this kind of theme that's just fine. <laughs> it's called Garden State. It's, 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 it's incredible. <laughs> Where would you set it, though? <laughs> New oh, Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Garden State. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a state of mind, sort of yeah. verdant. You know, a place where the new things grow again. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, maybe spare us for. Oh, yeah, a few sure, learning. sure, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, you guys yeah. are good for now. Yeah. This cool. Are these wireless? Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're from the feet. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are sick. You can, you can have those if you, call, you know, just don't do the. Yeah. You could just have those. And in fact, you could come here to Indio, California. Every year, there's going to be more of this kind of mild indie ish music. And oh, you, you a could, word? Yeah, you could bring all your friends and yeah. take photos and yeah, stuff. I could do yeah. that. Yeah. I could do that. A lot of women were really like colorful and slutty outfits. Hey. <laughs> I know. Are you talking about them or me? I mean, geez. <laughs> You're funny. You think so? Yes. I'm from Gogor Bordello. <laughs> I'm sort of the ant man of the group. Oh, shit. Well. 
Yeah. Well, let me get that back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sort of all... Oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks, Spider-Man. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. And also Hulk. Yeah, I yeah. And Hulk. Too. Yeah. Oh! And fuck Captain America. I see why you don't want to get yeah, so really angry. Pissed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you reuse the, the webs then. And fuck Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I I got it. It. I'm gonna What do you say you. we celebrate with some uh, more music? Yeah. <laughs> you can see them playing it in the West in New Brunswick, New Jersey on May 5th, 2019. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Resounding No! One, two, three, if you close the door. Hey everybody, my name's MC Steinberg. I'm here with Girl Talk. So, so what's your day job? I do engineering work. Um, I work at a dollar store. You all feel it! You all feel it! Uh, with Hot Chip. Where do you get your uh, wacky glasses? I have a good one. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, it's the shins. How can I get free stuff? Um, join the shins. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was opening up for my friend's band uh, called Man Man, and uh, I was doing a joke about uh, wrestling and Hulk Hogan and uh, some guy who looked like a wrestler. He looked like the wrestler Tugboat. Uh, ran onto stage and... <laughs> And then he pulled down his uh, sweatpants and uh, it just tried to sit on my face. Wait, underwear? No! We're here with the knife. So, um, why are you so weird? I wish you